This tool helps streamline the robust copying process by creating a mat for the selected subject or object, making it easier to separate it from the background. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the brand new exciting video. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, I am doing some here for my channel. I make videos about motion graphs, animations, and VFX stuff. Let's get started. This tool is epic and it helps isolating and cutting out elements from the video clip. And this is Rotobrush 3.0. Key features of the Rotobrush in general, automatic selection. Rotobrush allows you to make an initial selection of the object you want to isolate. And it automatically tracks the object throughout the video. Refinement. After the initial selection, you can refine the adjust the mat using brush tools and controls. Fixing any areas where the automatic selection may not be accurate. Edge blending proto brush typically includes features of smoothing and blending the edge for the selected object to make it seamlessly integrate with the background. Track forward and backward. Rotobrush can track the selected object forward and backward in the timeline, allowing for adjustments over time. Mask and compositing. Once you've created math using Rotobrush, you can use it as a mask to isolate the object and composite it onto different background or layer. Time saving. Rotobrush is designed to save time compared to traditional rotoscoping methods where each frame needs to be manually traced. So in this video, let's see how we can use Rotobrush inside the Adobe After Effects. The very first thing you want to do is actually duplicate your footage. The reason you want to do it because when you cut out your subject with your Rotobrush, everything else just going to disappear and we left with just a subject. But we still need background behind it. Now just highlight the top layer and go here that tool looks like a paintbrush and this is Dr. Brush tool. And now with selecting it you can just double click on the footage it's gonna pop up in a new window. Now the easiest way to select your subject is just click and drag to paint over the areas that you want to include. Here the menu box here which version of Proto Brush you want to select. I'm gonna make sure version 3 is selected. Now as long as mask itself concerned it's not gonna be perfect. So keep highlighting the area until you get there but probably gonna over correct it a little bit and include something that you don't want. So to remove the selection, hold ALT left mouse to turn it red and you can remove the things that you don't want to include. You can also change the way that your selection is displayed to you with this button down here. Now once you have selection you are happy with, you can press the play and watch how well it sticks. Now if it's looking good but not looking perfect, you can try a couple of different things. Highlighting the rotor brush layer and effect controls you should see bunch of different options that you can influence. You can increase or decrease the feather which basically that changes how sharp or soft the edges of your selection is or the contrast. You can even shift the edge basically keeping everything the same but moving everything out or in comparison to your subject. But now that you have the Roto brush complete and you are happy with the result, make sure you freeze it and it's rendering and saving of that details here you can see by the green line and it takes time. Once done, now you can put any elements in between these layers. Text motion graphics by just placing in between these layers and you can make something like this. And if you track base scene with the 3D camera tracker, you can create something creative like this. And after done tutorial how to do 3D camera tracking inside the Adobe After Effects, check my chart. And let's keep tracking. Now once you've done your base layer, and grab some motion graphic textures and place it below your rotoscope subject layer. And make sure that it is larger than your subject layer. Then selecting that layer, track match your rotoscope layer into that. You can make something like this. And enjoy the final output. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.